a good number of you like analog watches and uh, Casio is one of those brands who make all kinds of watches for uh, even hybrid lovers who like analog and digital elements in the same watch. Now I don't really wear watches myself because I just don't see the point when you can read the time from your phone then why do you need a watch. But I did buy this EX440 as a gift for my dad a while back and I did make a super short 2 minute video on it. One of you asked me to make a second video demonstrating the uh, different settings in it so this is my attempt of that. Let's call it a guy who doesn't wear a watch reviews a watch. The watch in question here is the uh, Casio Edifice EX440 Hybrid. So even though it looks really simple on the surface, um, it comes with this thick manual. So let's go over some of the uh, basics and how you can use this. Now I can talk about the uh, build quality and the in-hand feel or rather the on-hand feel I guess. Now the watch is definitely on the heavy side but that's a good sign because whenever components are evenly distributed and heavy, it usually indicates high quality. And uh, that is true about this watch through and through. It's made of very high quality materials like stainless steel all over. And it's definitely going to last you a very long time like typical Casio watches do. I do like the overall design but I'm not a fan of this uh, digital display. Like it's blackened out for the most part with the text being white. Now that's a very weird design choice because it's only visible in direct sunlight and no other lighting will suffice. Like even indoors, when you uh, are on a normal room light, which is lit by um, LEDs typically mounted on the walls, you can't even see the text. But it has radium. Oh man, remember that? Radium. Yeah, glow in the dark. The belt of this watch is a uh, stainless steel chain held together by hinges, so it's uh, pretty easy to adjust as well. You just have to find the right tool to separate a part of it, and you can fit it to your wrist as you need. One of the big complaints that I've had over uh, other watches that I've owned is the, uh, the clasp here or whatever you call this. This clip is not an easy thing to remove and put on with uh, typical budget watches. But here it's absolutely easy, like it doesn't hurt your fingers every time you take off this watch or wear it back on. It's these tiny little things that leave a good impression on you and separate the premium from the budget options. And being a tech guy, I was wondering about the uh, water resistance of this thing. And on the dial they've mentioned WR100M, which I think it means water resistant up to 100 meters. So if that claim holds up then uh, it's amazing. So in case you go for a swim with this thick and heavy watch on your wrist for some reason, uh, then yeah, the watch will survive even if you won't. You know, wearing this watch gives me a pretty sophisticated kind of a feel. So for the build quality out of um, 12, I rate it square root of pretty damn good. That means I like it. Let's move on. Let's get to setting the time. Uh, there are two times in here, one is the analog and the digital part. Changing the digital time is pretty easy. You hold on to this top left button until the time starts blinking and then you can use the buttons on the right to change it. You can cycle between the seconds, the daylight saving option, the time hour and minute and even the date and the year. Once you're done simply press A and you can exit to the main screen. Now changing the analog watch time is a little different. For that you have to enter the hand setting mode or acronymed as HS by uh, repeatedly pressing the bottom left button which cycles through the different modes. Once you get to this HS screen, now you can hold on to the top left button and now the hands can be moved with the help of the bottom right button. Note that it can only move 20 seconds per iteration and uh, it only moves in the clockwise direction. So if you find that your watch is running 10 minutes ahead, you will have to unfortunately cycle through 12 hours to get it to the right time. Casio has moved over the uh, data bank feature found in some of their earlier digital watches and moved over to their Edifice series. This watch in particular stores up to 30 contacts with their phone numbers. I don't know why you would do that when you have practically unlimited storage on your phone, but in case you're stranded somewhere without your phone and you just can't remember your landline number, I guess this watch will help out. So these are called tele-memos. To create a record in there, you just have to press the bottom left key once until it says TEL. So immediately after that, it gives you a bunch of blank spaces, meaning that you have to enter something there. Again, hold down the top left button until the cursor appears, and then you can use the uh, buttons on the right side to cycle between uh, alphabets, special characters or numbers from 0 to 9 and of course a space. You can use the bottom left button to move the cursor and um, you can enter the name and the phone number that you want to store. Once you're done you have to press the button on the top left once again. It'll flash twice and now that contact is stored. 
It supports 8 characters for the names and uh, a total of 16 characters for the numbers. And remember, you have to go past the 8 character limit in order to enter the number field. To access your contacts at any time, simply press on the bottom left button once and it will take you to the telememo screen, where you can cycle between the stored contacts using the buttons on the right side. I remember this being such a cool feature back when I was in high school, um, but uh, I don't know about its practical use nowadays. If you are like me and enjoy the nostalgia factor, then uh, sure, this will be a fun feature for you. But if not, I'm not sure how useful it will be. You can edit any of the contacts created by pressing and holding the top left button and uh, you can delete that by simultaneously pressing both of the buttons on the right side. It also has an alarm feature where you can set two alarms but uh, I'm not gonna get into that because no one sets alarms on their watches anymore and if you are, uncle, please stop. Just, just stop. It's annoying. Anyway, that's about it. I can't take any more torture from this thing. I'm gonna hand it back to my dad and uh, go back to reviewing tech. So if you found this helpful or entertaining in any way then uh, consider subscribing and if by any chance you're interested in this watch or anything similar then uh, I'll leave a link in the description. You can support me by shopping your favorite products through those links. And yeah that's it until next time take it easy I'll see you soon. Cheers.